hello and welcome to another episode of Crossroads Rebuild. My name is Steven and this is my 2007 Ford Fusion, my first Copart salvage car rebuild project. Today, we're going to go ahead and put on the rest of the front end of this car. Well, most of it anyway. I'm going to put the fenders and the bumper on, hood's already on. Going to make sure everything fits up nicely uh, and is uh, playing nice and there's nothing else that's still bent from the accident. Then I'm going to try to fix um, a ding or two in the hood as well as the, uh, the front bumper has a, little, a few little gouges on it. And once all of that's done and I'm satisfied that everything's fitting well, then it is ready for paint. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm having a little bit of trouble. Let's see if I can hold this fender up here where you guys can see it. I'm having a little bit of trouble fitting the lower portion of this fender because as you can see, there's a little bit of a bump here where whenever it was installed on the previous car, they hit something. And so it's uh, it's not quite the right shape. So I'm gonna try to push that out and get it kind of bent back the right shape so that it'll hopefully uh, fit onto the car properly. So that's what I'm gonna do now. This right here is why you never throw away any of the parts of your car, any of the broken stuff from your car until you're done with the project. This is uh, part of the broken old radiator core support. And this screw right here that you can see right there, that is the screw or one of the screws uh, that holds the bumper on the top end uh, to the uh, radiator core support. So if I had thrown this away, I'd be without that screw. I'd be going to the store trying to find one of those little screws but I've got it right here because I saved all my parts. So, top tip for you, don't throw anything away until you're done. Okay, it's a different day, a much colder day. Uh, the other day when I was working out here on the Fusion, it was almost 75 degrees and it's a whole lot colder than that now. It's starting to feel like a normal February day again. Anyway, I did get some progress done on the car, and uh, as you can see, I now have the front end hung on the Fusion. 
Um, got the fenders on, bumper on, hood on, and uh, there's some good news and bad news. Let's take a look at it. Good news is the fenders actually went on really well, as did the bumper. The bumper's not fully installed. Um, just have it held on with a few screws. Uh, but it all went on pretty well, and uh, I'm pleased with how all that's fitting. Got that uh, dent on the driver's side, lower part of the fender taken care of, so it's fitting just fine. Uh, the bad news is this hood that I picked up is just not going to work out. Um, you know, it looked fine, especially from a distance, it looks fine, but I got to assume this hood probably got taken off that donor car and dropped somewhere along the line. As you can see, both of these corners are bent way in, and um, I'm having a real hard time uh, getting them to bend back up. And uh, I don't know if those are the problem or if it's more of a hood hinge thing. But in any case, I'm also having some issues aligning this hood. So what I think I'm going to do is find another hood. Uh, I'm going to look for another OEM one, another donor one that's actually in good shape. Uh, or I might just buy a Kappa part. I didn't put much into this hood, so I'm not too worried about it. But I can't let it go the way it is. Uh, you can also see this hood's not uh, sitting properly. It's it's quite a bit higher than the fender, and uh, the height of the fender is not a real adjustable thing. So something's wrong with the hood, uh, and there's actually just a little bitty kink that I didn't notice before. I don't know if that shows up there, but this hood may have been slightly bent somewhere along the line. So that hood has to go. So I'm on the hunt for one of those, uh, but the bumper's going to work out pretty well for me. It's kind of dirty, as you can see up front here. There's some scuffing uh, along the front, so I'll sand that down, maybe put a little filler on it, and then uh, that will uh, look great once it's repainted. So good news and bad news, fenders are in good shape, um, bumpers in good shape, the hood, I need to source a new one. But we made some progress. Let's go ahead and take a look at the BMW now. Got to take a little bit of a look at what's going on with the suspension here on the BMW. Um, and actually, I think we got really lucky. The, the suspension is not too bad. We've got a track arm and a control arm that are bent. And then uh, the shock absorber got a little bit bent as well. It doesn't look bad, uh, but since it can tell, I can tell it did get hit, I'm going to go ahead and replace it. I'll probably go ahead and replace the other shock absorber too. I don't know how old those are. And... Uh, I don't want the, the car to handle funny once I've done this, so probably replace shock absorbers on both sides of the car, and then the control arm and the track arm, and I think, crossing my fingers, but I think that's all it's gonna take to get the suspension taken care of, and uh, at that point, I'll be able to drive the car. So that's awesome. I also got to talk to my friend at the uh, frame shop, the guy who owns the frame shop. He came and took a quick look at it, and uh, it's a little unclear exactly what it's gonna take to fix that, uh, so once I get the car running and driving again, uh, we're going to take it over to his shop, put it on the frame rack, and he'll start pulling on it. We'll get a better idea of uh, how this is going to work. A couple of uh, angles of attack on how to fix the uh, body and frame damage, but um, we won't know all of that until we get it up on the rack and start pulling on it and get a better idea of what's going on there. So looking forward to getting started on the BMW here pretty soon as well. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I'm sorry I didn't get as much done uh, in this episode as I wanted to. Really had hoped to uh, get quite a bit done on the Fusion. I wanted to get the headlights installed, get the painting going. Um, but it's just kind of been one hurdle after another. Sounds like excuses, I know. But uh, but when you're rebuilding wrecked cars, you know, sometimes that's how it goes. I'm also new at this. I'm learning as I go. So I'm sure I'll get faster as I work on more cars. Uh, but for now, progress is progress. And I'm happy with that. In the next episode, hopefully I'll have a new hood and also some paint uh, going on to the Fusion. Should also have an episode coming out soon on getting the BMW uh, rolling, get it, getting the uh, suspension taken care of and getting it driving. So look forward to both of those hopefully coming real soon. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Crossroads Rebuild. If this is your first time watching, thank you for coming to the channel and thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, why don't you go ahead and do that now and then hit that little bell notification icon, then you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you for watching. Check back soon. We'll see you then.